so we've got the correct lot number of the reference ranges for the controls that we're using. One thing to pay attention to is the lot number of your cartridge. It starts with a D, so you want to make sure that you use your control ranges that start with D as well. And so the pH range for D would be 6.975 to 7.075, and then the PCO2, PO2, and lactate follow. All right, so when you're starting your control, the biggest thing about this is that you want to make sure that you shake it very well. And as my friend Bart says, shake it like a Polaroid. Always handle the control with your thumb on the bottom and your index finger on the top to avoid excessive heat to the control because the control, your warmth of your hand can actually change the pH range of the control. So we're going to go ahead and get this set up. We'll turn the ice stand on. We're going to touch the menu button and then we're going to go to control and we push one for control and we'll enter our operator number and then we're going to scan the, con the control lot number. And I'll take that and then the cartridge lot number. This happens to be an expired lot number, so it's not coming up right now, but if it did, it would show you the cartridge and ready to um, insert it into the instrument. So to bypass this, I'm going to go back. We're gonna try it again. So one is control, operator. Enter the lot number by scanning the barcode on the bottom file. And I'm going to take this just so we can see what it looks like. Now it's telling you that it's ready for the cartridge. So you're going to open your cartridge. And the, if you open it on the end where the notches are, it'll be set for you to pull it out so you have the end where you can put your thumb on it. Avoid touching the sensor end or you'll deactivate the cartridge. It will not work for you. Okay. I'll give it a count of 20 and shake it vigorously. Seriously, 20, 20 counts. Now to protect yourself, use the sleeve of the cartridge pack to put over the vial to break the ampule. Pull up your control in the syringe. You don't need a lot, just a little, and you want to avoid getting a bubble down at the base. So you've got a bubble at the top, but not at where you're going to put the solution in. And you put your blunt end needle into the well of the cartridge and fill it till it reaches the top of the clear line. And then this little stopper goes over on your sample. If you noticed, I turned the cartridge side, sideways when I inoculated it to prevent myself from touching the sensor end. And now our test is started.